So in today's video, I'm going to do some of the premier military sets that Lionel came out with. Uh, there's no way you actually can do them all because there's a lot of military items that were one ofs in sets, but these are the premier sets. Um, the year is 1959 and Lionel entered the space race and they started off with a mobile missile launcher. Started off with the U.S. Army number 44 and you could either use the remote track or manually, there's a little lever right here, that you could launch the missiles. little cam went in there. Then the next car in the set was the 3419 helicopter car. Then a 6844 missile car. A 6823 larger missile car. And it ended with the 6814 medical caboose. Just a repair tip on these units. The missile uh, firing platform utilizes these little pins and once they're launched to get them to set back in place Lionel used a piece of foam insulation and over time that insulation dried up and turned to dust so these pins will not reset. So it is an easy repair. You can go to Home Depot and get yourself that same diameter weather stripping and you can just stick it on underneath. To get it apart underneath there's a little metal tab it's just a twisted tab. You can twist it back straight and the whole piece will pop right off. With the medical cabooses, the U.S. Marine one and this, they have a removable tray. So sometimes you see them that way. But the tray consisted of the sitting man, two removable stretchers, and oxygen tanks. Before I move on, I just, uh, I'm always customizing something. So here's another 44 that I redid because I thought the uh, silver would probably look better. So here's a customized 41 done in silver with the appropriate U.S. Army markings. I really didn't like the blue that much. I thought silver would have been a nice option for them. I'm surprised they didn't do one that uh, was a U.S. Army or an Air Force or, or something. Next up was the 1960 set, which introduced the 45 U.S. Marines. This set originally sold 
for $35 and was set number 1805. It's known as the Land, Sea, and Air gift pack. It was just the cars, no track, and as mentioned, it includes the 45 U.S. Marines, the 3820 submarine car, operating submarine car, has the 6640 missile launcher, the 3429 helicopter car, and the 6824 rescue caboose. Also available as a separate sale item was Big Bertha, which was cataloged as 6651, and it fired wooden projectiles. That was not originally part of the set. Like I said, that was an add-on car. For those paying attention, most people think the, US, uh, the 45 came with that one set, but in 1961 there was another set headed by the 45 U.S. Marines. And this was set number 1647. And it sold for $49.95, and it included the 45 as mentioned, the 3665 missile launching box car, 3519 satellite launching car, the 6448 exploding box car, a 6830 non operating uh, submarine car and the white 6814 medical caboose. For those not familiar with the exploding boxcar, it kind of works similar to a mousetrap. Uh, when it was on the track, you had a safety pin that went through the roof, and that prevented the mousetrap from springing. If you remove the safety pin, and then hit the sides of the car. There's a, like a mouse trap spring in there that would pop the sides and the top off the car. These cars are notorious for breaking the little plastic uh, hooks that hold the sides in. But it was an interesting car with a lot of play value. And they are relatively hard to find all complete. The satellite car came in two different versions. It was an automatic version and a manual version. This was spring tension, just like the helicopter. You wound it up, you could push the uncoupling mechanism and it would launch the satellite. So. In 1962, the 45 U.S. Marine missile car, uh, 
engine ended its three-year run with set number 12512 and it sold for $39.95. This set was known as the Enforcer set. It came with the 45 missile launcher, the 3619 operating helicopter launching car, the unnumbered satellite launching car, a 3470 target balloon car. For those who've never seen this operate, I will uh, get one set up. It uses a D battery and there's a little fan motor in there and it keeps the battery floating above the car and it even works uh, when the train is moving. It's a pretty neat effect as long as you don't have any bridges so I can't use it on this particular track but uh, I'll do a little demo and it's at the end of this. The rocket launching car which you could remotely launch. The uh, rocket capsule would pop off and the uh, has a parachute inside. Then the final car was a 6017 olive drab caboose. I do not have that. In fact, I do not have this is the only 6017 caboose I even have. Um, too much space and uh, the olive drab one that should have come with this set is extremely hard to find and along with that comes a premium price. Well, bad news. All of my balloons were dry rotted, so I can't do the demonstration of this. When I get a replacement balloon, I'll do a short video showing how this guy works. And we'll move on with the next set. Oh, I also want to take this time to point out one of the big items to look for if you want a true collector piece when it comes to these missile launchers. In order to get a full value, they have to have all of their steps. Right, there's one, two, and three back here. One, two, three, as well as on the other side. Again, one, two, and in the rear again, one, two, three. Those steps, just from handling, are very fragile. 90% of all of them have at least one or more, if not all, the steps broken off. So that's just a tip if you're buying what to look for to make sure you're getting a quality piece. In 1963, the mobile missile launchers were no longer available and they headed up their next military set with the Santa Fe 223 with a matching B unit. The set number was 11385 and it originally sold for $49.95. In the set, besides the Santa Fe's, again was the Target Launcher Car 3470, an operating U.S. Navy 3830, the large rocket car with the nose cone that came off that had the pencil sharpener inside. The turbo missile launching car, unnumbered. The 3619 helicopter reconnaissance car. And the 6257. There is also a Santa Fe 6257 that has shown up in some sets.
In 1958, Lionel offered set number 1591 at a cost of $29.95. What it included was the 212 Alco, a 6803 carrier car for U.S. Marine Corps vehicles. This one had the tank and the loudspeakers. The 6807 had the duck boat. The 6809 had the truck and a machine gun aerial car and it ended with a US MC Marine Corps Blue Caboose. Also of the same theme, an available separate sale, and I'm not actually sure which other sets. There were 6804, again a machine gun car repurposed on this car with the loudspeaker car, just different configurations. Then you had a true tank with anti-air guns on it and a spotlight car. That was number 6808. And then 6807 had another one of the trucks with a radar truck. So I combine them when I run this set. I just like the theme. One thing about all the cars on these loads, again, to get the normal, to get a catalog price, they all have, they can't be repros. So inside the truck, and it's going to be hard to see, but that little nameplate in, in the roof says Pyro, and not made in China or anything like that. So all the original cars will have the Pyro plastic mark on them. This will be the last set that I cover in today's. I did do a prior video on this one. so um, This is the 224 United States Navy Alco A with a B in it. It was set number 1633 and it originally sold for $39.95. This set came with transformer and track. Cars that made up the set were the helicopter non-launching car 6820, a operating submarine car 6830, a 6017 U.S. Navy caboose, and then I ended up with some supplemental cars being the missile launcher car. I custom made this one from another uh, submarine flat and put two missiles on it and then I had a secondary helicopter car that I add when I run this set. Oh, also just an update on an error that I just made the missile firing car which is 6544 was part of this set. The Two other cars here are not part of the set.
as always, thanks for your interest. I can do requests. If it's something you want to see, I'll try to get that on the track. Thank you and have a good day.